Hello, how are you? I'm going to be participating in a readathon very soon that is centered around the novel Barchester Towers by Anthony Trollope. And I was wondering if you'd be interested in joining along with me. Uh, this is going to be a global readathon that's held online. I'll put links in the description below where you can find out more information about it and sign up if you're interested. It's uh, free to sign up, uh, but I also want to chat a bit about why I'm interested in joining this particular readathon and reading Anthony Trollope in particular. Uh, so, as I've been talking about in recent videos, I'm one of the judges in the first novel category of the Costa Book Awards this year. So I've been reading lots and lots of debut novels and new fiction, and I love it. I've been really enjoying reading new fiction. I mean, that's the main thing that I, I like reading. But I like to balance it out with reading some classic novels as well. And in the past month, I've been talking about how I've been reading Charles Dickens, and I read Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier for the very first time. So I've been wanting to read more classic literature as well. And Anthony Trollope is a novelist that I've never read, but I've always meant to, uh, mainly because he was my paternal grandmother's favorite author. And I remember going to her house when I was little and seeing lots of Anthony Trollope novels on the shelves and always sort of wondering about them. But I've never read him before and never got around to reading him. And he's one of those uh, great 19th century English authors that I've just not got to. You know, there's like Charles Dickens and there's Jane Austen and there's George Eliot and Elizabeth Gaskell and Thomas Hardy. And I've read novels by all of those authors, but never read anything by Anthony Trollope. And I think it's always a lovely thing when you can read an author that you know was a favorite of a family member or a loved one, and knowing that they read this text and had a connection with it and then sort of reading it yourself you can almost like see it through their eyes in a way and it makes this lovely connection you know with uh, with family members and, and loved ones in that way and so I'm really looking forward to reading Anthony Trollope and it was a great coincidence that just recently uh, the Anthony Trollope Society got in touch with me because they've been having this public vote over the past few weeks to find out the nation's favorite Anthony Trollope novel um, so they they asked me if they could send me some Anthony Trollope novels, and they sent me an Anthony Trollope sweatshirt uh, with him on it, uh, which which is really cool. And uh, and I said, yeah, I I'm been always wanting to to read him, and uh, and it's fun how they they've had this public vote where they've had different celebrities supporting different Anthony Trollope novels. So like Julian Fellows and Ken Follett and Prue Leaf uh, was supporting one of the novels, and I, I don't know about you, but I've been a big fan of watching the new series of The Great British Bake Off. It's been one of, you know, the rare, rare uh, weekly rays of sunshine in an otherwise very dark time. And and uh, so, yeah, it was fun to read about Prue Leaf's interest in, in one of the, the novels. And uh, yeah, so the result of that public vote uh, was Barchester Towers. And it's not really a big surprise that this was picked as the favorite because this is often cited as one of his most famous and most beloved novels. Uh, but it also presents a slight problem in that it, this is the second book in a series of six novels that he wrote and me being a sort of geeky completist, I kind of want to start at the very beginning of the Chronicles of Barsetshire series and uh, this is, so this is a series of six novels that's all set in a fictional English county and it has some uh, characters that cross over between the novels and I know that Barchester Towers can be read just on its own without having read the, the other books but uh, but yeah like I said I'm just you know have that that kind of geeky sensibility that I want to have read the first novel first and the first novel in the series is The Warden uh, which is all about a man who is accused of uh, misusing some funds for a hospital uh, but then the man who accuses him of misusing those funds is uh, in love with that man's daughter so it's sort of about this like political struggle that is complicated by this romantic situation. And Barchester Towers is uh, about a struggle between different clergy members in this community uh, where a new bishop comes into conflict with an archdeacon. And uh, Mr. Harding, uh, the, the main character in The Warden, um, also becomes wrapped up in this struggle. And uh, also there are romantic affairs um, which complicate these, you know, larger political matters as well. So it sounds like a fun involving story and I'm just really looking forward to getting into 
a whole series of books over the winter months. I think it'll be really fun that if if I really enjoy these novels to, you know, that there'll be multiple ones after this, um, which I can go to and, and continue to read the whole series. And so for this readathon, every two weeks, uh, starting on November 9th, they're going to be having online discussions about this novel uh, with a scholar uh, who focuses on Anthony Trollope. And uh, and so, yeah, it'll be a fun way to to like discuss the novel as we're reading along with it. And I love how there's such like competing opinions uh, about Anthony Trollope's work, because if you look back, uh, there are some writers like Henry James who heavily criticized his novels. But then there are other writers like George Eliot, who conceded that she never would have started her ambitious project of writing Middlemarch without the inspiration of Anthony Trollope's work. And then there are writers like W.H. Auden, who says that Anthony Trollope was one of the great writers of the 19th century that wrote about money um, in a way sort of similar to how Balzac wrote about society at his time, you know, by writing uh, this big series of novel novels that have some characters that cross over between them. So I'm looking forward to reading him for the first time. And of course, if I really enjoy him, there's a lot, lot more Anthony Trollope to get to. Uh, so that's always a great thing to have like a store of books to look forward to, you know, as opposed to new authors when you have to wait for a new novel to come out. So uh, let me know if you're interested in joining in the read along in the comments below, or if uh, you've read Anthony Trollope much before, if you have any favorites from his books, um, I'd be really interested to know about that in the comments as well. Uh, but I hope you're reading good things and staying well and healthy, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.